All right, let's, let's take two on this. It is day 30 and uh, I'm going to measure my arms. Obviously I have one more day to go, but I have not measured my arm, my right arm, obviously since the first day that I started. Um, and like I said, today I was going to do both the back exercises, my pull routine with the X3 and then finish off with the arm routine. Um, but time got in the way. So I'm just gonna finish off day 30, be done with it. And then tomorrow I'll do my back routine and then go into my full week long rest. And I just did this video a second ago, but I did the tape measure on the wrong side. I did it on the centimeter side. So now we're gonna have to do it over again. So I can't really see it from this angle. So I am going to look on the camera and see what it says. So that's non-pump. That's just out in the morning before I do my workout. And that's the same way I measured it last time. Before I started this whole program, I measured my arm cold uh, before I started doing the exercises. So now I'm gonna go check the video out and see what it says. All right, I'm back after <laughs> looking at the video. And then I went back and I researched on my poorly done first video to see what the actual size was that when I measured this and uh, it was a poorly done video. I've never done any of these 30 day challenge things before. So I didn't do a really good measurement. Um, I thought my arm was probably a little bit above 16 inches. Bump. Um, then uh, when I first started this, um, and then obviously I showed you on this that it's actually 17 now. So I'm thinking that I grew about a half an inch in 30 days with my arms. I, for me, that works. I'm good with that. Um, can I continue working out here, doing my regular workout, and then once every couple, you know, four or five months, whatever, do a 30-day challenge and just really blast your arms hard? Well, heck yeah, I don't see any problem with that. Arms recover quickly, just like your calves do. Arms recover fast. You use your arms for everything you do, so the arm muscles are a fast recovering type muscle. So, I like it, I think it worked, and I have one more left to do. We're gonna get our day 30 on, get our workout done, and then get on with the day. And then tomorrow we're gonna to finish off with our uh, pull exercises, our X3 pull routine. And then we'll take a full week off, let everything rest, and we'll see what type of gains that I've made in those days. And I'm thinking of another 30 day challenge. I have a couple in mind and I'm thinking of one right now that I really wanna start doing. And that's probably gonna be 30 days with zero alcohol. So that'll probably be starting maybe Monday will be a 30 day and I'll probably post it up here. I'll have to report every day I drank no alcohol no alcohol, no alcohol for 30 days and see if I, see what happens, see if I can lose some of this. I don't wanna change my diet a whole bunch. I wanna stay with what I'm regularly doing, but I wanna see what the alcohol is going, no alcohol is going to do. But uh, that'll probably be the next challenge and I'll probably put a video up on that. Anyway, let's get going. We got uh, one more day of arm blasters. Let's do it. All right, we've got everything set up, ready to go. I am wearing my favorite hard-working bucker hat today. I like wearing this hat. It always makes me want to be motivated to work hard when I'm wearing this hat. So we're gonna get our last set done. I'm actually kind of stoked and motivated that my arms are freaking 17 inches now. That's freaking crazy. Never thought I would have 17 inch arms. That's just insane. Let's see if we can make them bigger.
I definitely feel the pump now. <laughs> One more round.
60. <laughs> That's it. Day 30. I missed two days, so day 32, but 30 days of work. I missed two days because of issues that happen within your life. So it could not be avoided. So you know what? We still did our 30 days of on workouts. So let's see. With a pump. Let's see what we have. Make sure you get on the right side this time. So right there is the starting point. So during, let's see, let make sure we get this thing lined up correctly. There we go. So about a quarter of an inch of a pump during the workout. So I think I started obviously with my crappy videoing skills and doing this by myself when I first started this. I think somewhere it was around 16 and a half inches. Um, I didn't really get a clear picture of it. Um, and I did not even look back on the video to see if I did or didn't. I just videoed it and posted it. Sometimes I do that because I'm pressed for time. I just do a video, do a thing, whatever. Don't even edit it. I just put it together and then post it and then just deal with it. That's why you get the real me most of the, most all the time. Only on occasions do I re-edit something or retake again if I start in the morning and I and I can't talk when I'm talking with a slur or my, my brain goes off in a different direction because I'm get I get brain fog sometimes. Uh, anyway, yeah, sometimes talking to the camera by yourself is a little intimidating and a little difficult, but uh, you know what? I just talk like normal. So I just got 30 days done. I think I have grown a half an inch in the arm and if you go back and you look over the videos, you can see that my arms look a fuller. They look like I've got more, obviously a little bit more muscle, a little bit more mass. But I tell you one thing, my endurance went up crazily. because so I started off with the 10 pound dumbbells and I could barely get three sets with the 10 pounds. And within 30 days, I'm up to doing the 15 pound dumbbells nonstop. I think I only stopped one time doing the, with the 15 pound dumbbells. And that was obviously after I had done a push workout and my triceps and everything was really tired. But I managed to get all, most all those reps even after working out and then finishing off with those. So the endurance went up crazily. My arm strength has gone up a lot. I can feel my arms are a lot stronger, especially when doing my chest presses, doing my pull-ups, doing my, my bent rows, doing my deadlifts, all that stuff. My arms feel strong. When your arms feel strong, you feel strong. That's, that's just for guys. That's just for, for guys. We we understand when your arms feel strong, you feel strong. Um, I mean, a big judging factor that we guys use on each other is looking at somebody else's arms. Your arms, your shoulders. You can see a guy here looks really thick and big, and then you see this, this little noodle hanging out of his shirt. It's like, well, that dude looks pretty big, but I bet he can't even curl 20 pounds, and his arms will die in a minute in a fight. He has no arm strength. He has not have endurance to last. Yes, I'm not a fighter. <laughs> I don't pretend to be a fighter, but I do have endurance that can last using my muscles, using strength techniques. My, my wind, my air um, is pretty dang good from doing this. Um, and I intend to get better. I'm always trying to improve myself. That's the thing, get better every day. Always trying to improve myself, find different ways to make myself better. 30 day, 30 day arm blast routine. Um, Rich may have been on all kinds of PEDs and he was since he was like 17 and he actually said that he had been on uh, uh, steroids and all kinds of different things since he was 17 years old. Hey, that was his thing. For me, for just a regular guy who takes nothing except for magnesium and the usual vitamins, the old guy vitamins, and uh, try and get as much protein, try and get at least 200 grams of protein a day, whether it's with a shake or eating enough eggs or eating enough uh, beef, meat, or whatever, trying to get the protein. And I'm trying to stay lean, trying to get down off of the fatty carbs and stuff. So that'll be another 30 day challenge. But um, 
I think I've grown. I have grown a lot. And of course, I come out here in the morning. And for men, that's when our testosterone is the highest level. It is first thing in the morning when you wake up. I feel great. I get my workout in early in the morning. Of course, I have to get out here and stretch and wake up and get your muscles all ready to go. But once I get a sweat going, I'm freaking ready to roll. So that felt great. 30 days, definitely worth it. If you need to improve your arms, I believe that you can actually do this with 30 days of this routine. Start light, start with something that you can handle and then climb up to 15 if, you, if that's what it is. If you can start off with the 15, go for it. But uh, you, you have to learn some endurance to start with. So I would say start with a 10 or a 12 to start with. For me, I don't have that big swooping peak bicep. I got a real long one. So actually by doing those hammers and really coming down and stretching that biceps a lot has made that happen a lot more. And I know if I was, when I lose some, some fat, some weight here, I'll get more separation here and that'll actually look a lot better. That's the goal is by next spring, I wanna be able to see some veins running across my chest and maybe even if I could across the stomach, that would be nice too. And that means more separation in the muscles and that means you actually looking bigger and thicker when you actually weigh less. That's the goal, to look great and to feel good, of course. Feel good, to be healthy and to look great, especially as you are getting higher in age. Um, I will be turning uh, 58 here really soon. So I think I look pretty good for almost 58 years old. So that's it for the 30 day arm challenge. I got all my reps. I only missed two days because of time constraints of life that get in the way. Um, other than that, I got out here every day and I got my workout done, whether it was after my regular workout and doing the arms or on a day that I wasn't regularly working out, I still got my arms done. So 30 day challenge complete, check that in the book. Next 30 day challenge was probably gonna be 30 days with no alcohol, that's it. And I'll probably start that one after I take a full week off here. That way I can document on here every day that I am alcohol free for another day, alcohol free for another day. I wanna document 30 days of alcohol free and see what we can do. So I wanna be able to measure these with a tape measure, measure this, measure my arms, measure my chest, measure my legs, measure my, do all the measurements together and then see at the end of 30 days if I lose any of this and then obviously what the scale says. So that's gonna be the next challenge is 30 days with no alcohol. I got my workout done. I got the 30 day challenge done. I feel great for it. I love it. I will probably do this one again come spring um, just to blast up for the summertime. But you know what? Hey, I might find something else in between or another type of arm blaster workout that I wanna to try too. But you know what? I'm liking doing the 30 day challenge. This actually makes me have to come out here and actually be on it to myself as I'm putting it out here that I'm gonna come and do this. I'm gonna come and do it every day and post it for everybody to see what the real results are for somebody who's real, not a performance enhancing person or somebody who already has a coach on the side that's teaching them how to do all this stuff and they just show up and look great. This is it, this is what I do. I work out, I live my life, I try and eat as healthy as possible and I think I'm doing pretty good. So get it done, go live your life and I will see you in the next post.